This is what? It is the shadow. Actually, it is nothing. When I have taken this object in my hand, this opaque object will block the light coming. And there will be certain areas on the screen, on this wall, where the light would not reach. So this darkness, this dark area where the light is not able to reach due to the presence of this object in the path of the light ray is called shadows. Here you can see that there are gaps in between and from those the light is able to reach and there is no darkness. This object you can identify what it is. But can you see the color of the object in this shadow? No because shadow is always black in color. If I take this object in my hand, you can see that it is a ball. But when I see the shadow, it seems to be a circle because the shadow is always two dimensional. Next, if I take this circular object, the image formed is circle. But when I bring it closer to the source of light, the shadow formed is increasing. When I bring it this way, the shadow form reduces in the size. So we cannot have the idea of the actual object size with the help of shadow. Now, if I take this circular object and I rotate it this way, you can see that it seems to be an oval. So the shape and size is changing. Here, if I take this, the top is at the top, bottom is at the bottom, this handle is here only. This shows that this shadow formed is erect and I can touch this. This is formed on the wall. It means this shadow formed is real also. So now let's recapitulate the characteristics that shadow is always black in color. We cannot have the idea of the shape, size and color of the actual object with the help of shadow. Shadow can reduce or increase depending upon the position of the object between the source of light and the screen. Shadow is always erect and real. Thank you.